What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Carter Thomas, and I am doing a blog post video about market research versus keyword research. Now, very quickly, this is not a sales video. There's nothing salesy about this. I'm just doing this because this format is a lot easier for me to explain things and to collect my thoughts. Sometimes it can be hard to structure everything in a blog post or in a live video. So hopefully this helps you with the idea of market research versus keyword research. The reason I'm doing this is because I've been getting a lot of emails, Facebook messages, whatever else you wanna call it, people that are really saying this, Carter, oh my God, help me, I don't know what category to pick, I don't know where to start, I can't find a market, I'm doing all this research and I just don't know what to do, etc., etc., etc. okay? And people typically come to me and they say, well, I'm used there, I'm doing market research and I'm going out and I'm trying to find all these things. I'm looking at Sensor Tower, I'm looking at App Andy, I'm trying to find everything. And what they really mean is they're doing keyword research. Okay, that's not market research, they're doing keyword research. So I wanna make sure that it's very clear what the difference is here. All right, so we're gonna start off by defining what this is. Keyword research, and you can see the screenshot Many of you probably know about Sensor Tower, have used Sensor Tower, and it shows you, you can see that you type in specific keywords and it'll, it'll give you like the difficulty, how much traffic, uh, how many different apps are, are, are uh, ranking for that keyword, and it just gives you an overall score. And when you're doing keyword research, what you're looking for ideally is high volume and low competition. It means that a lot of people are searching that keyword and there's not a lot of competition. This is very hard to do because there's a million plus apps in the app store, but there are still some of these pockets out there, right? And the goal of this keyword research is trying to find hidden keywords that you can rank really well for. So what happens is when people email me that, that message and say, oh my God, I don't know what to do, they're spending their time trying to find this golden ticket of high volume, low competition. So that they can just, they can take a template, they can take their source code, and they can wrap it up into that to match those keywords, put it in the app store, and then capitalize on some of that search volume. That's the idea. And the reason why they get so frustrated is because that is a flawed model. Okay, that doesn't work. At least it works very, very, very rarely. It's not a real powerful scale and business model. Now, I also wanted to find what market research is. Okay, now this is a screenshot from Facebook Audience Insights, which we'll link to below. And this is, this is where you want to go if you want to do market research. This covers almost everything you need. On the left, you can see I pointed out, I typed in interests in Ferrari. And if you've never used Facebook Audience Insights, what this does is, is it gives you all the outlying information about people that fit the criteria you, you put in. So you can get as specific as you want. I just did put it Ferrari. It, people who are interested in Ferraris. And you'll notice that it's 80% men, 20% women. Compared to Facebook, that's disproportionately higher men and lower women, as you would expect. When you do market research, what you are learning about is the people, right? You're learning about the demographics. How old are they? Are they, what, are they male or female? Where do they live? What cities do they live in? All that sort of thing. You learn about their behavior. What sort of pages do they like? What sort of products do they spend money on? How much money do they spend? What, what are they doing differently than the average person that makes them unique? And then the market research also tells you the interests. So beyond being interested in Ferraris, what are these people interested in? Well, maybe they're interested in luxury vacation houses. Maybe they're interested in uh, Air Jordan sneakers. I mean, I don't know, right? But it, it gives you an idea and you want to find out what those interests are so that you can answer the question, who are these people? Who are the people in this particular market, in this niche. Now, the reason you wanna do this is because very often we can have these assumptions where we go in and we say, all right, well, um, this is who I think a Ferrari owner is, right? Let's say a 50 year old guy, styling, doing his thing, you know, maybe, maybe single bachelor life, loves fast cars. But when you do the research, and you realize it's actually guys who like to dress up in costumes and put bit, bit emojis all over their Ferraris. I mean, you never know. I mean, obviously this is a, this is a ridiculous example, but my, my point is that market research will tell you all about the people 
Okay, it's gonna define who are the people that are all interested in one thing. Whereas keyword research tells you all about the searches. It tells you about what people are looking for in the app store. And that difference is huge. Market research is all about people. Keyword research is all about the app store searches. Now, let's say you have an app, right? And you go and you do market research and you do keyword research. What are the benefits of doing this? Well, with market research, now you have this customer, what they call a customer avatar. You know who your, your person is. So if you have a, an app that's all about Ferraris, you have a good idea of what updates to do because you know what kind of products Ferrari lovers want to see. Right? You know what language to use because you know who you're talking to. You know what kind of design they want. Right? You would know all these other marketing techniques. You know that you should use Facebook and not Pinterest because it's mostly men. And they, they, they like video more, or more than they like the written word or whatever it may be. But with market research, because you know these people, for your app, you now have this whole business strategy to, to feed this market. With keyword research, if you have an app, all you're really being able to do is go find the people that are already searching in the app store. Yes, you can go and you can potentially get some information off that keyword research to help you with the updates and language and all that, but you're really just searching for the people that are already in the app store, that are already specifically searching for that. So you can, you can imagine that that is a very, very small piece of what the greater pie looks like. When you're really looking at the people that you're researching, keyword research is only a really small part of the overall picture. Now, what do you look for when you do market research, right? If you open up Facebook Audience Insights, where do you start? Well, you really just start anywhere. You type in anything that you're interested in or maybe your friends are interested in, and then you, you the best, usually the best customer demographics have communities, right? They're enthusiasts, they have associations. I think Ferraris are a great example of this, right? They're people that get together with their Ferraris and they just wanna show them off they, because they've cust they customized them, they have different types of Ferraris and they all get together, people get together and it's just, it's a community of that and they love it, right? There's, they just post like a million pictures of it, which is great, you know? It's, it's great to see people that are stoked about something, you know, they're really passionate about it. They create associations. Whereas something, you know, like people that are interested in frogs, I mean, this is a random example, you might not have as many people starting like the tree frog fan club or, you know, tree frog enthusiasts, you don't see that as much, which makes it harder for, uh, to create products that they're really gonna care about, right? Because they don't, they don't have that connection. They don't, they don't want, they don't like it as much. So when you're doing market research, this is what you wanna think about. And you really wanna cater to those people, the people that have the community, that passion, that real love of whatever the product or interest is. Now, if you're gonna do market research, go to Facebook Audience Insights. That's the best place to do your market research. If you're gonna do your keyword research, do everything, do all the things that um, you know, you've already been doing with Sensor Tower, with App Annie, with Mobile Action, with all the all the big ones, right? Now, I wanted to go through an example because I think that this helps gel everything together. All right, so a good example is with sticker apps. So a lot of you out there, let's say you have access to the Tiger Stickers app or even the Emoji app, which is essentially a stickers app, and you're asking yourself, what category do I choose? What, what, how can I go find the keywords so that I can just put this in the app store and it's gonna get a lot of downloads? And let me tell you, you're probably never gonna find any keywords that tell you what people want, that tell you what people want a sticker app for. Or, you know, you see what I'm saying? Like Ferrari owners are not going into the app store saying, oh, Ferrari sticker app or Ferrari emoji app. They're not looking for this kind of stuff. If you go into Sensor Tower, you will never see 98% of these markets like searching for what you're looking for. However, if you went on Facebook and found these communities of people like the Ferrari lovers who are obsessed with the topic and you said, hey, I know that you love Ferraris and I'm gonna build this app ex specifically for people that love this topic and then I'm gonna show you this emoji app or this sticker app that you can use because I know what Ferrari lovers want. They're gonna love a sticker app. Like they're not necessarily searching for it, but because you know that market, you can take any template 
and, and apply it to that market as opposed to just taking the template and, and hoping you can find a little pocket in the app store that you can, you can grab onto. Right, so you use the market research to find the people that you can market to. Right, okay, then you use the keyword research to get unique or you know, get specific. So for the Ferrari people, once you've identified that Ferrari people are, Ferrari lovers are a great demographic of market research to go after, then you go into keyword research, maybe not censorship, maybe you go to Google Keyword Tool, and that's when you find out, all right, well, what types of Ferraris are they looking for? What problems do they have with their Ferraris? Are they looking for new parts? Are they looking for places to meet up? Are they looking for ways to trick it out? I mean, look for those searches and go to the, the, the keyword tool to see, all right, now I know I can rank the problems that these people have. I know exactly what to go build because then you can go rock it out. Okay, so real quick overview. The market research is, is really important because you go find the people that are really passionate about a topic then you go take any template or source code and you customize it specifically for that market and then you get it in front of that audience, right? You can do it in the app store, but you also go and do it on social media. You do it with a website, you do it with emails, you do it in person. You can go to these trade shows and show them your app and people will respond because you've done the market research. This is so much more powerful. This is so much more long-term than when you get an app and then you go to the app store and you try to find the unfilled demand and sneak your app in to, to pick off a piece of that. That's why so many apps out there get like 100,000 impressions on their iTunes page and 100 installs is because they're not going after the market first. They're just going after the keyword volume. So it's really important to go after the people, research the people, go find the people, go find those communities and then take any template. I mean, you can, you can take any template out there and cater it and, and repackage it, redesign it for that specific audience and then just get it in front of the audience, both inside the App Store and outside the App Store. And that's how you're gonna see big success. So I'll see you guys later. If you have any questions, I'd love to hear them. I'll leave a comment below and I hope that this has been helpful. Peace.